Good evening and welcome to 360 Norse Arts at 360. I'm your host Katie Bosler. Tonight's program is Alaska Originals, an ongoing series of concerts that feature Alaskan performers playing their original music. Tonight we're happy to have a musician who has roots in both Tennessee and Alaska. We'll hear his music, his stories, and after a few songs I'll be back for a little Q&A. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Harrison B. Good, huh? yeah, good one. Thanks, guys. Here we go. Town of the sea. Won't you remember me? You said you got a hold on to me, or the same way that I'm holding on to you, baby. For 40 days and for 40 nights, I've been out down in the desert. I made my way on the phone. Maybe a month or two, yeah. But oh, oh, when I need you, yeah. when did all oh, so sweet all the weather? You know that I'm a coma, running back and crawling back and balling my way home to you. Tennessee, I want you to remember me. I said you gotta hold on to me When the same way that I'm holding on to you, baby In Tennessee yeah. And never surrender me I said you got a piece of my heart what it gonna, It's always gonna belong just to you Now I won't lie, y'all, there was some of these days out here where they wear my heart straight down into a flat piece of leather. Yeah. So many these times when it man about a million different things that I need to do, yeah. But oh, when I, when I think, oh, sweet, oh, baby, forever. I said, I want you to bury my bones right there. I said, well, you know that I'm gonna run them back and crawl them back and bolt them my way home to you. Tennessee, won't you remember me? I said, you gotta hold on to me. Or the same way that I'm holding on to you, yeah. And Tennessee, Lord knows, yes, yeah. So won't you, uh, yeah. you never surrender me, yeah. I said you got a piece of my heart, oh, well, oh, well, it gonna belong just to you, yeah. I said you got a piece of my heart. I said you know that one. It's always gonna volunteer. And that's our university's mascot, in case you're not from there. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be with you guys tonight. I'm looking forward to just walking through a bunch of these songs and you're going to hear me touch on a few themes this evening, kind of explain a little bit behind maybe uh, what I wrote or why I wrote what I wrote. And it starts with this next one right here. I wrote this next song, Freedom in Uganda, Africa. And uh, it was the first song that I really wrote kind of in this style that I continue to play these days. And um, what I was harping on and touching on was the fact that I traveled 
the entire world over, and there I was, and uh, I was seeing a completely different group of people that I shared very little and obvious common with that uh, I felt like were struggling for the same things. They wanted their freedom in the same way that I wanted it personally, and um, I felt like it was a bonding moment and an eye-opening experience, and so this song is called Freedom. I hope you guys enjoy it. When a voice in a big old woman back Every day I'm talking, walking, begging, stealing my freedom Help you on. He said, I seen you on and I seen your top before. And he said, Look, when dead, and he said, Look, when dead, and he said, He looked me dead, he said, What well, I seen your top before. Oh, yeah. Every day he talking, walking, begging, stealing his freedom. Oh, freedom, freedom, yeah. freedom, freedom, yeah. I wake up and I'm thinking this, I'm thinking, am I walking right? Yeah, am I talking right? You know what can I do to make my figure slight? Feeling kind of hungry, I should grab a bite. And as I'm dealing with the dealing here of all this blight, discover the world that these shades are like, and I begin to notice that I lost my sight. Pick up my hammer, then I start to write on the stone of the wood. I know when I'm rocking in the wood in the rag, yeah, and all this light did across the wood, they in the dead of night, and they won't stop, won't talk till they have the, the what? The freedom. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Don't you know? <laughs> Thank you very much. So this next song right here, um, I like to light. I like to write um, on life things, interpersonal relationships and intrapersonal, uh, trying to essentially figure myself out, what I'm doing here, what am I trying to accomplish, and I think it's something that we all share these topics. So this next song is called What It Sounds Like, and uh, it's something you'll see me come back to a lot, this whole universal relationship thing. And uh, I was trying to figure out, we got really rich, right? We got really poor, and uh, I was raised in a major text, as I'm sure a lot of you were, and uh, in it, it said that all men were equal. There was equality. And I'm looking around at the world, right, the, the reality of it, and I'm asking myself, how is this possible when it seems to me that it is dispersed a little bit differently? And um, eventually, what I came to the conclusion of, um, for right or for wrong, uh, these are just my opinions. I'm not yelling it out as a verdict or a law. But um, uh, what I found was that no one is immune to struggle, whether you are incredibly wealthy, whether you are incredibly poor, and the whole range of existence that lies in between there. Everybody's got things in their life you've got to deal with on a daily basis. Big problems, small problems, family problems, money problems, ETC. Nobody's getting away from it. And so what I found through that is that trying to better yourself, trying to navigate life, that's one thing that we all share. And uh, that's what I was thinking about when I wrote this song. It's called What It Sounds Like. And uh, to me, music is pure emotion. You don't need words for it. You know, these notes, they mean things. And uh, they mean feelings. And so, to me, the, uh, the sound of struggle is what I'm trying to emote here in this song. Get a little water because I don't want to sound parched while I'm doing it. Here we 
we'll go. To my brain, skip them by the cold shoulder. Seen from back of bond, wanna trade them bond with a medium and the mold. I seek my role in a race in a sea of faceless people. With a dealer man, he done dealt the hand individual, but not equal. Do you not wonder what it feel like? I said, Do you not wonder what it is that we all share? Top and the bottom, cast system, a skipping record. What was me? I count your blessings, looking up or toward the heavens. Be like, Oh, yeah, 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 yellow, don't you know? Yeah, that's what it sounds like. That, that's what it be like. I said, Man, that's what it sounds like. That's what it be like, it be like, say, oh, 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 don't you know, oh, yeah, I just want to sound like, I just want to be like, I just want to sound like, I just want to be like, yeah, I the more, the more you get closer to shop at the tooth, the DPD, ocean, the world, perdition, via the arose, the beauty and struggle of life and a over and well, and I, I feel that life here is a call to hear, that I, I, what you most fear, so the next time you wake safe and sound one morning unexplained, you will start moaning, that's your own night, that's your morning, sounds like, oh, yeah, 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 low, don't you know? Yeah, that's what it sounds like. That, that's what it be like. So that's what it sounds like. That's what it be like. It be like, say, oh, 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 don't you know? That's what it sounds like. That's what it be like. That's what it sounds like. That's what it be like. Yeah. Like a man, I say, yeah, yeah, man, I say, yeah. Oh, oh, don't you know? That's what it sounds like. That's what it be like. Yeah, that, that's what it sounds like. That's what it be like. 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 Man. Thanks so much, guys. This next one here, um, it's a song called Carry You. And uh, it's one I wrote when uh, it deals with the same theme. These are, you know, coming off a recent time of working through some troubles, working through some things that, quite frankly, I wasn't quite sure how it was going to turn out. And I came up with this little rhyme for it. And the way that I relate it to myself is that the good times, the bad times, they're all going to come. They're going to ebb and flow. Everybody knows that life comes in waves like that. And uh, though it be cliche in its purest form, the way I see it, you can either let the hard times carry you to a better place, or you can let them bury you. And so uh, I think I, I would spur us all to choose a high road if we can, and that's called Carry You. Here we go. You will find time in a lifetime, so when the storm is gone, bro. Yeah, when I end that water overflowing And all the streets will flow through We your eyes up and the clouds down With the pouring bad news, yeah, but that water If you let it, they're gonna carry you away yeah. Carry you City people, yeah, city evil, yeah See the scared and we'll see the bruising Yeah, when I see the oceans overflowing With all the good they can do Righteous living and we're southern giving I'm telling you the prejudice when it came a few Yeah, that, that water If you land it, they're gonna take care of you And they're untold 
and you'll see it in and need washing the new and you cling to the ground as the world of storm will do but let go and you know it's gonna drown you yeah said you let go and you let new yeah, when you let that water, good people are gonna carry you. Carry you. Well, my brothers and my sisters, you know that I cannot prove, yeah. But well, I, the healing, I do believe that it's in the living, yes, this type of thinking I do believe is being true. So the next time that you go out and I see that you find times where you feel like there was some drowning that you need to do, you let your troubles do your healing. Yeah. You let them carry you. And then I'm told and you'll see it in and need a washing anew. And you'll cling to the ground as the world a storm and rolls through. Yeah, but you let go and you know you're gonna drown. Yeah, yeah you let go and you let new. Yeah, when you let down water, good people are gonna carry you, carry you, carry you, carry you. I'm telling you that there are times when you're seeing when well, it needs a washing the new. You're gonna cling to the ground as the winds and the storm are gonna roll through. Yeah, but you let go and you know you're going to drown, yeah. Go on, you let go and you let know. You let that water do your healing, yeah. You let it carry you. You let your troubles do your healing. Said they're going to carry you. Lord, oh, no, they're going to carry you. Oh, yes, yeah, say. very much and so uh, man it's a real pleasure to be here with you guys and I appreciate you showing up and sharing these songs with me if you're watching out there on TV I don't think I'm supposed to address you but let me take the opportunity to thank you as well for uh, you had anywhere from 50 to 347 television options this evening depending on your package and uh, you're checking us out right now and I really do appreciate that so so uh, speaking to everybody now so this next one, y'all, it deals with the same theme. I wanted to carry it out for a minute. And this song's called Feel. And um, just like anybody else with any other job, I get down on what I'm doing. And I question myself, why am I standing up here? Why am I beating myself to death over trying to get this music out of my body? And why am I out on the road every day, forfeiting every relationship I've had and forsaking my time at home just to try and spread a message? What am I trying to say? And um, I just, I find that uh, it's... It's just like anything else, there's a black and there's a white, and all of life is in the gray in between. There's not a right or a wrong way to do anything. And uh, in this song, you're going to hear me pit two verses against each other. I'm going to mark on two historical figures, one of which I'm going to turn into the villain, and that's going to be Napoleon Bonaparte. And uh, he, seek, he seeked, yeah, I believe that's the word, his, um, uh, his fortune at the cost of many a life and many others, at least historically speaking. And then there was Marco Polo, who delayed gratification and set out on a boat full of stinky dudes for however long over rough seas until he finally found it. And I'm making the illusion of living a life of a seeker and seeking your treasure. And then you go back before the king, your God, your heaven, and you, uh, you get to enjoy the fact that you lived a good life. And I think we all live somewhere in between that, and we struggle between those two polarities. And I uh, just wanted to give you a little insight on maybe what the song meant to me. And, uh, take from it what you will. Those call feel. around here so I guess I'm talking to myself again sometimes I feel life is getting rounder well it's got no corners 
Left for me to sweep my cobwebs in I wanna know, I wanna know What it keeps me up at night Am I living it righteous, y'all? Am I living it right? Yeah. I feel like Marco Polo Yeah, that man say he's a different story He's all winds and weather, yeah Going to the gold and the glory yeah, Until he's up there standing so All shit and shining Regaling the tale Of the death left behind me And I feel him Lord, I feel like yes, him And I feel like the world Was she gonna keep spinning around Yeah, I would have felt it if I changed my mind Would the sun's coming up and would the star gonna shine The only way to beat it with my nose to the ground Only way to do like me gonna survive Yeah, yeah, yeah. Work hard, work hard, then you live a little smile, smile, you're always on top. Never in the middle, truly, you're the best. What a who we're gonna buy it, yeah, never mind the other side. Hush it, keep it quiet, and uh, never mind you, well, we live in the rules, yeah, man. Half blacks and half whites and half truths. So we, we swimming around, said in the black and white soup, when the only thing grays the truth. I wanna know, and I wanna know, so it keeps me up at night, yeah. Am I living a righteous year? Am I living on the right? What say Napoleon Bonaparte? Well, that man, see, he's a different story. He, he's all brass and he's leather, sir. Oh, until the field's too bloody. And so me and you said we should bond together now. Well, over our imperfectly, over all of our earthly struggles. Supposed to resonate for eternity and oh, I feel never I feel like yeah I, oh, 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 I feel like the world when she gonna keep spinning around Yeah what if you did if I changed my mind where the sun's coming up and where the stars gonna sound Only way to beat it with my nose to the ground Only way a do like me gonna survive is Gonna survive is Gonna survive it. Gonna survive it. Yeah. Gonna survive it. Gonna survive it. Gonna survive it. Yes. Yes. Said, Lord, I feel. I feel like you. I feel like the world was she where she gonna keep spinning around yeah. and I feel that if I changed my mind well the sun's coming up and the stars gonna shine but when I wanna wait to beat that with my nose to the grind said the only way you do like me is gonna survive is if Lord knows that I feel said Lord don't you know I feel said oh, 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 I feel like the world was she gonna keep spinning around yeah, what if you did if I changed my mind with the sun coming up? Start gonna shine the only way to beat it with my nose to the ground. Only way you do like me, gonna survive it. Gonna survive it. Gonna survive it. Lord, I feel. Wow, what a strong set. Thank you, Harrison B. Thank We're going to get Betty back B. to the music in just a few sure. minutes, but we do have a few couple questions for you. Sure. Um, you're, you start out the set with Tennessee. Yeah. You are from near Nashville, but you have some, you've established some really strong musical ties and connections in Alaska. Sure. You sought out Alaska. Yeah, I did. How, how did you get here? Well, um, you know, this is what I feel like I have in common with a lot of people in this state. Um, my story, though unique to me and my location, isn't to many people that found their way up here. I graduated college. I knew I, I, knew I wanted something in my life. I didn't quite know what it was yet, mm -hmm. so I was smart enough to realize I needed to seek something, but I didn't know what I was after, essentially. Uh, kind of like Marco Polo. Yeah, kind of like, I don't know. And, uh, <laughs> 
I needed to get out of that state, and so I bartended for six months. I saved all my money, didn't spend a dime, and I got my Jeep, I had a soft top Jeep, and I drove it 4,300 miles. I knew one person up here got a job from them and decided I wanted to come. And so I got in the car, and I had never been more than three states away from home at that point in my life, and really just had a lot of strengthening moments as a human being, as a person, and as a man. And uh, by the time I got here, and you know, you get off the ferry to come into town here, and uh, you drive, and I'd never seen nothing like it. You know, I'd never heard music like it. I'd never been in a place with the same color palette that I was being offered. And uh, I worked over there at the zip line on South Douglas for half a year. And uh, I just. Yeah, I just lived down the street. So well, there you go, <laughs> local as it can be. But uh, I had played music for some time in Nashville, particularly in the country vein. And um, I had some potential and some opportunities for some artist management type things and some really. Uh, industry moments that quite frankly I wasn't comfortable with and I didn't know why um, but I knew I needed to get away from it for whatever reason and um, so I put the guitar down and for four or five months I didn't pick it up and um, I just spent my entire summer being enamored by nature and by this place and by the people and a whole new culture and then uh, by the end here the next time I picked up a guitar was at the open mic down at the Alaskan Hotel and Bar and I played one song in a peacoat of all things, but I, would, you know, I hadn't been on stage. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know what I was doing. So I was scared to death. So I put a peacoat on. And of course, <laughs> just sweat it off, you know, immediately. And never I done that. Never done that again. But, but uh, from there, you got a T-shirt now, so you've come a long way. Right, yeah. right. We've opened up. We'll say. But uh, I knew that that moment that uh, I had found something that I loved more than life itself, mm -hmm. and I could put before everything else in my life. And uh, so I immediately set about the course. I went home, I recorded an album, and I was touring around the southeast, and I knew that uh, I knew just as many good friends up here as I did down there at that point, because I've been away for a while, and um, I got in touch with the university up here, and came up one more time, and just started booking gigs. And um, before I know it, I had a lot of good friends, and I had some people that really dug the music, and so I just kept coming back, and I've done so for about three and a half years now to this day, and, and this is beyond a second home at this point. This is. This is where everything came from for me. So, yeah, it's fascinating that really Alaska seems to have shaped you as a performer. Absolutely. And there, when you're from near Nashville, that's just that's amazing. Sure. And you know, yeah. I think that a lot of people that you know the locals that have been there the, here their whole life that is that is a rare individual when you find somebody that really has been there. You know, their parents were born here, or their family, TC. Mm -hmm. But the majority of us, or I don't want to be so brave and brash as to throw myself in the group, but the majority of people that live here, they found their way here in a similar scenario. Mm. For whatever reason, they were drawn to the state, and once you get here, you see what it can offer. And, and, and why you were drawn here. Exactly. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's an unbelievable place. It really is. There's nothing like it. So, yeah. Well, tell us about progressive American soul. Sure. This is how you defined your music. Sure. Did you, did you make this up? I did. Hold it. <laughs> I did. I'm not... I'm ashamed of that. That's Alaskan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got to improvise. What can you say? That's right. <laughs> but yeah, I, um, you know, everybody asks for a label, and you're booking myself the majority of the time these days, and everybody wants a three-word description of what you do, and I just didn't feel like blues fit, I didn't feel like folk fit, I didn't feel like soul fit, so I was like, I gotta come up with something, because I'm tired of people not knowing what I'm trying to do, and um, so I came up with a three-word answer, progressive American soul. Here's why. Um, Traditionally, I was brought up in Americana song forms. My grandfather was really big on bluegrass. He was big on folk. He was big on roots, blues, delta music, and um, also country. And so these are things I was brought up on. Well, I myself have found um, a couple other things, one of which was I love, and I have always loved soul music in the way that particularly the 70s urban songwriters, they expressed themselves and they poured themselves out in every note. And then um, also, the word progressive comes from, um, I consider at this point, uh, hip hop to be part of the Americana kind of catalog. And here's why. I feel like bluegrass and blues and all the ones we classically know as being defined as Americana, at one point were just what was on the radio. That was just what you were listening to. And then enough time passed that, you know, those were old time musics and it was time to school them into something else so people could try and revive them. And uh, I feel like hip hop's been around for almost 30 years now. And it is something that as Americans we're proud to call our own. So do you have some background with hip hop that, that you've integrated into this form of music you're developing? Uh, not, not in terms of pure performance, mainly mm -hmm. just listening. I just loved it. From the second I heard it, I knew I wanted to pull storytelling from folk. I wanted to pull rhythms from hip hop in the same way. I loved the way that they moved. Mm -hmm. Vocally, there was always a cadence, and I was just into it. So it just kind of found its way into the music. I didn't force it, so. Yeah. Well, um, you've gotten me to like hip hop music then. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite an accomplishment. <laughs> and. Uh, well, Tell us um, a little bit about um, your, 
just really briefly kind of your process with songwriting. Sure. Yeah, I mean, you've, you've got some just stellar songs, and they've, they've got a, a lot of depth to them. You know, I, I, I call myself an inspired songwriter just because there are guys, particularly from Nashville, you see a lot of individuals that can just write. And their job all day is to write. So they got a quota at the end of the week they have to turn them in. And so they can write on command, essentially. I've never really been able to do that. Um, I just haven't ever been satisfied by one of those songs. Didn't really appeal to me. Um, but what will happen to me is an idea will show up, particularly when I'm about to go to sleep or I'm about to wake up. And it will either be a phrase or it will be a chorus or a verse. It will just be a piece of a song. And then I take that and um, I essentially match it with the other half. I'll say, well, what does this music sound like? What kind of message would be involved? Or if it's the words and the message, it's like, okay, here are the words. What kind of melody would match that and kind of the mood and help to swing together? And so beyond that, it's just essentially filling in the blanks of what's missing and turning it out from there. Now, you've got another set of music for us sure. that you're going to start out with a tune called Lately I. Mm -hmm. Now, let's tell you a little story about the first time I heard this song was speaking of the Alaskan the bar downtown. It was a beautiful summer evening, and I was kind of just sort of along the docks, and I heard this sound coming from the speakers that, em that the sound goes emanates out to South Franklin Street. And it was just fantastic, a very strong song that you wrote in Juneau. Mm -hmm. Right down the road in Aunt Bay. Yeah. <laughs> And I don't even know how it came about, you know, I just played that first chord and I was like, that's kind of jazzy and I kind of dig it. And All right. Well, let's hear it. it. All right, let's do it. Harrison B. Lately I. Right. Thanks, Harrison. Mm -hmm. When that soul in surrounds me, I see why all of these here, these people need it. So I take my two left feet and I keep the beat, boy, I keep it sweet. So please let me finish. So ain't it funny how a groove it can change your whole world? Oh, oh, oh yeah, when I, yeah, oh, oh. yeah, ain't it funny what to do? Shake it on, shake it on down. Feel it, but that I just bowed everything to see if I believe it. I'll believe, I'll believe, yeah, man, well, I'll believe most anything. Yeah. Lord, don't you know that I can feel it? So I say, hey, man, those grooves, man, those tones, man, why are they even worth singing? I say, no, I say, no, man, why? No, no, yeah, no, no, unless you are. You go out there every single time, no matter whether you're playing to yourself in the bathroom or whether you're playing to a couple hundred people and you sing with every ounce of feeling. Say, so, well, ain't it funny how a groove it can change your whole world, oh, 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 yeah, when well, that. Yeah, ain't a funny one to do. One to do. One to do. What I say, I say that I know that I, I feel that I feel. I feel that 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 I feel that
what I feel. Now it's time to come to that part of the program where I touch on a subject that I have not yet. And uh, I don't write a lot of love songs, y'all. I really don't. Like I said, I'm an inspired writer. and Well, I've only had a couple of relationships that I really gave a lot about. And, uh, you know, you can't really force that kind of writing. And, um, but I got a couple. And um, there's first ones here is uh, about a relationship. And I'm going to use the metaphor of the geography. I'm from Middle Tennessee. And um, I was in love with a person that I knew um, eventually that this was kind of kind of overtake and there was just no way around it it was going to happen and you kind of watch it from a third person point of view and you go through all these phases of letting go but essentially what happens I got really mad one night because I found out she had kissed another dude I borrowed a flatbed truck and I drive all night to go pick up this couch that I'd let her borrow right and so uh, anyway I'm cruising down I-40 which is uh, the road that takes you there and um, You'll hear me hit on a couple of things that are in between, including the Blue Ridge Mountains, the Appalachian Mountain chain um, that kind of divided us. And this song's called Raindrops in Asheville. Hope y'all enjoy. Tell me about the weather in Carolina. That is, if you remember me. I hope these words and these chords, they will somewhere find you. Practicing your yoga and sipping tea. So what the lion words, well, they will come out with that it's been easy. Oh, and the truth, well, it's lost up high on the Blue Ridge. Yeah, well, they tell me that it's raining in Asheville. Yeah, with tears here in Tennessee. The cliches and the poets, man, well, they tried to warn me. Well, I can't deny that I caught their clothes. All the things that the devil he will be dragging from me. Yeah. I should have known that he'd be coming for you. Yeah, but I promise not to let you go down easy. Oh, and my grip, what well, is strong, it's been tested for some time. But well, they tell me that it's yeah, with tears, yeah, with Tennessee Yeah, with well, the stacks over at Oak Ridge Well, they smiling cause they trying to beat me Yeah, that's the pop and love that they ain't so quick to tell Yeah, that you, you can drive all night Just to take back what you have given yeah, you, you can drive all night, but you won't make it out of hell. Yeah, well, they tell me that it's raining in Asheville. Oh, but these tears, well, they fall the heaviest of all. Yeah, they tell me that it's raining in Asheville, yeah. 
tears right here in Tennessee. Tell me about the weather in Carolina. Thank you very much. And um, you know, as much as you don't ever want to have to write that song, you definitely don't want to have to write two of them that go together, right? <laughs> um, but I never had planned to, to uh, kind of write a pair that, that kind of bottled up the whole thing, but it's just kind of how it played out. And so now you carry that story a little bit down the road, and now I've come to grips with the fact that it's gone, right? But she's coming back to town one more time. She's coming to see her family, and you might as well see her, right? And so she comes over and you hang. And, and now uh, she's leaving. And as you know, you got that feeling that this is, this is it. You know, this is the last time you're probably going to see her. If not for life and for a darn good time, it's going to be different when you do. And uh, I live on Nolensville Road in Nashville, Tennessee, for all you creepers out there that want to find me. <laughs> and uh, let's just go ahead and make it easy for you. I'm just kidding. I'd be honored. I'd be flattered. But, um, <laughs> but I live at the top of a hill um, just off of Nolensville Road. That's the main drag. And I remember... This song flooded my head at the most inopportune moment as I'm watching her drive away. Um, she's going down the hill and she puts her blinker on uh, to turn left onto Nolensville Road. And so uh, the idea popped in, so I wrote it. This is called The Blinker on Nolensville Road, and it sums up the end of the ordeal. So this is it. Potter fans out in the crowd this evening. Uh, this last verse will make a lot more sense to you, but I'm alluding to a Patronus. And uh, for those that don't know, don't worry, it's an inside joke that you just, you're not going to get it. You're the light of my head in blue. The witch and charm you do My infant jail blue And I wish that we never got in stone Two wits and then a blink Yeah, now, now you gone yeah. You're just a blinker and now you blinking along To the blank or on Nolan's will roll. 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 Way. Don't turn left down that down that road. Mm -hmm. 
Guys, I really appreciate you being with me tonight, and I appreciate you listening. And um, uh, it's been a real joy to be here. Thanks to KTOO for having me. And uh, it's always awesome coming to my second home. Do you know in particular Alaska is a state too? And uh, to be a part of something like this. And um, I guess the addendum to the story before and the whole reason that I could get here, the whole reason I got here um, is not on my own. And uh, I believe that together is the only way you can get anything done. And I'm not on this stage under my own power. I'm under this stage because a lot of people have helped me out along the way and made sacrifices and uh, of themselves and of others to to put me in a position to succeed and to be here uh, in my own little world, in my own little way. And uh, so I stumbled across what I consider to be an illusion that we are all separated and that uh, that realistically we're not going to get anything done without each other. And it was one of the biggest lies I'd ever been told is that I had to take care of mine and you had to take care of yours. And um, so I wrote a song about it because I think that's what you're supposed to do, at least in my world. So this is called The Illusion. I hope you guys enjoy it. Say to rally the people to build their iron gates and shelter their friends and keep out the ingrates. I want to feel the feeling your heart and your bones, your value, possessions, and their soul that you call home. And I know, I, well, I know that a heart is a hard thing just to give. Oh, I do it, but I find another reason to live no i won't well i'm telling you the worst lie that i, I, I ever what well, i fell into it's the illusion of me and the illusion They say to check on your stables. You you keep your spirits pent up, and when you you shovel your heartbreak and you ration your love, or when you keep you keep feelings and arms linked away, and when the wolves when they come a walking, you just hide in the hay. I know that the night I know it can be dark in spite of the moon. Oh I do it, and I. It's one of the hardest things that you can do Oh, I won't But I'm telling you the worst lie that I, I ever But I fell into It's the illusion of me And it's the illusion of you Yeah, it's the illusion of me And it's the illusion I'm telling you the worst like this and when I when I when I fell into yeah when I'm telling you the worst like this oh I when I oh I when I when I fell into oh when I'm telling you the worst like the worst like this oh I when I when I fell into the illusion of me and it's the illusion of you yeah well it's the illusion of me and it's the illusion of you so I say I 
I say to rally the people, tear down their walls. Why don't you let in some strangers? Why don't you call off the dogs? Cause that tired soul, he sounds so scared when alone. And he sometimes comes off like the wolves howl him on. And I know, so when I, I know that the night, I believe that it can be dark in spite of the moon. Oh, I do. And I feel that it's one of the hardest things that you can do. Oh, I want what I'm telling you to worst light. I, 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 oh, boy. I fell into when I'm telling you that it's inside of me and it's inside of sometimes but it's in spite of you when the truth is that there's no illusion of me no illusion of you. Thank y'all so much. Uh, I got one more song for you. It's been a pleasure to be here. Thanks for tuning in, guys. This song is called Time Bomb, and it's about my religious journey. Here we go. Yeah, well, the wind fell sweet through the winter that day So I took me a stroll, man, I heard him say, there he goes Yeah, man, there he gone And I walked through the woods and down to the water Couldn't imagine it getting any harder I moved, yeah, man, I moved along And then the pain crept in the tips of my toes and my hips and my chest and my heart when it froze and I felt like I was lost all it was forsaken and somehow that I've been let down here by mistake and then I ever wonder what was going on around me but they just assumed help as go ahead and drown me and the world keep ticking like a time bomb said the world keep ticking for me yeah come now if you got a light you pull it from your bush or now you shine some light for me to see oh yeah and the world keep ticking like a time bomb said the world keep ticking for me yeah come now if you got a light you pull it from your bush or now you shine some light for me to see for me to see But as I turned to look, I knew it wasn't the same But I moved, yeah man, well I moved along And the river, it was swift, it was getting deeper I struggled to find a bed beneath my feet But I moved, yeah man, I moved along as I looked up above me, I could see the truth. Yeah, with the sun of my future and the moon of my youth sitting high up above me like a two-tone roof. I knew now, yeah, said I knew what I had to do. And when my pride grew stronger, I could feel the shore rising up beneath my feet on that river floor. And as I turned to look, just as I've been told, said the only way back, yeah, the safe bridge of old. And I'm usually a lover, man, I'm not much of a fighter. But tonight I'm going on with my cigarette. Light up high in the air until heaven's above. Screaming one faith, one truth, one God, and one love. One decision to make, one bridge to burn. Cross the river of light, never to return. Yeah, from this day forward, I vow to explore the beauty in life. 
Oh, the life has in store and the world keep ticking like a town bar. Said the world keep ticking for me. Come now, if you got a light, you pull it from your bush. You now you shine some light for me to see. Oh, man, in the world keep ticking like a town bar. Said the world keep ticking for me. Come now, if you got a light, you pull it from your bush. You now you shine some light for me to see. For me to see. Well, that's all we have time for this evening. So thank you, audience. Thank you, everyone who participated by watching tonight, Arts at 360. And to purchase Harrison B's music, please go to harrisonbmusic.com. I'm Katie Bosler. Good night.